Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. New Hampshire DOT worker injured when ice from box truck goes through windshield, police say. A New Hampshire Department of Transportation worker was injured Thursday by a piece of ice that flew off the roof of a box truck on Route 101, officials said. State police said the box truck was traveling west on Route 101 near Exit 4 in Raymond around 3.30 p.m. When the ice dislodged from the roof and struck a New Hampshire DOT vehicle that was about five car lengths behind the box truck. Ice went through the windshield and struck the New Hampshire DOT worker in the head. The New Hampshire DOT worker stopped in the breakdown lane, and a witness stopped to assist and notify first responders. State police said the box truck continued on and was not located. The injured New Hampshire DOT worker was taken to the hospital with a laceration to his head and other possible injuries. Anyone who may have witnessed the incident is asked to contact State Police Troop A at 603-679-3333. State Police remind the public of the importance of following Jessica's law and clearing all snow and ice from vehicles before driving. And here's a photo from New Hampshire State Police of that truck that got damaged. And this is why it's very important to take snow and ice off your vehicle after a snowstorm. And now let's take a listen to this video in this report. Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Jessica's law requires New Hampshire drivers to clear snow off cars before you get on the roadways. So you want to have a snow brush so you can clear your car off the road. Since 2002, New Hampshire drivers have been legally required to clear snow and ice off their cars before getting on the road. Jessica's law was passed after Jessica Smith was killed when ice from a tractor trailer hit a box truck that ended up hitting her car. Drivers who violate the law face fines of two hundred and fifty to five hundred for the first offense and five hundred to one thousand for multiple offenses. Jessica's mother, Linda Smith, told News Nine in twenty fifteen that she sees um snowy cars every day and she doesn't want other mothers to suffer her loss. It takes not even five minutes to clean off your car, she said. 
it can take three seconds to kill somebody. So, as a reminder, everyone, make sure you have your snow brush with you and remember to clean off your car and especially here as well because the snow can go flying, the snow and ice can go flying from the top and go into the windshield of another person's car. So make sure the car is completely clean before you get on those roadways. You do not want to get stopped and get a ticket for having a snow and ice covered car. That does it for my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great evening, everyone, and I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news reports. Good night, everyone. Bye. Okay, everyone, there you go. So, Remember to clean off your car so no one gets hurt in things. It's very important to do so. Yesterday when I was driving, I saw a few cars in front of me and I saw ice flying off and I was like, they should be cleaning off their car and following the rule. But everyone should remember and follow this rule very important to do so. That does it for my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.